If you are thinking about applying to medicine this year and the application isn't going well, maybe you didn't get a great UCAT score or haven't quite got it where you want it to be, there is still one final Hail Mary that we'll talk about in this video that could still give you a very good chance of getting into a very good UK medical school. So as you may well know, when you're applying, there are two exams that you might have to sit if you're an undergraduate, or even if you are a graduate applying as an undergraduate. There are, there's the UCAT that you know well, forgetting the GAMSAT if you're a graduate, but the other type is the BMAT. Now, as you may well know, this is the final year that they are doing the BMAT. After the 18th of October, 2023, they are completely scrapping the BMAT. And still to this day, at the time of recording, it hasn't been announced what is happening, but the chances are that most universities will take the UCAT. The Oxford and Cambridge universities, so Oxbridge, may set up their own exam. That's typically what they would do, but nothing has been announced yet. They're probably waiting until the end of the BMAT exam to announce that. Now, the reason I'm saying this is that the final registration date for the last ever BMAT exam is September 29th, 2023. So, if you kind of think that this year isn't going to be your year, it is your last chance ever to have one final Hail Mary. And you might be thinking, okay, it's a bit too late. You still have time. You, at this stage, you have just under a month, which is still good enough time to prepare, if you prepare well, to get a good score and revive your hopes of getting into medical school. What you have to remember is that the BMAT is a very different exam to the UCAT. And if you are the kind of person that has not done well in the UCAT, maybe you've done it a few times now and not scored particularly high, this is your last chance to do a different exam that tests skills differently and you might be much more suited to and it is really your last chance to use that to your strength to get into medical school. So really all I'm saying is that if you feel like you have the next month to really give it your all and put a few hours every day into studying and really perfecting your technique with the BMAT, then it is definitely worth trying to do it because like I say, it is really your last opportunity to ever sit this exam. So you still have those six universities that do accept the BMAT. So you've got your Oxbridge universities, which really, unless you've got great academics and all eights and nines at GCSE, I would probably not consider. However, you've still got the London universities, UCL and Imperial College London, who as long as you have got a combined section one and two of 10 or above, you're in with a very good chance. And then you also have the two remaining ones, which are Brighton and Sussex Medical School and also Lancaster. Remember that Leeds recently moved from the BMAT to the UCAT, probably because they knew that the BMAT was being phased out. But if you want a little bit more information about the logistics of the BMAT, there's an entire playlist that I made here. But also it's really important to have a good resource that is gonna help you get up to school in the next few weeks to get the scores that you need. So what I'd recommend is checking out this course here that we do, which has helped a lot of people score those ridiculously high scores if they need to get into Oxford or Cambridge, but also we have one-on-one -on -one help and that is really where we've, in a short period of time, helped people get to that level that they need with the BMAT to get into medical school. So I'll see you over in one of those videos, but really strongly consider the BMAT if you're in a position where your application isn't the best it could be this year.